Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Motorola One Action Phone. This is not a paid or affiliated review. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. And uh, what I'll give you is my honest opinions because there are no affiliated links uh, and I don't have to you know, give you only the good things, uh, hiding the bad things. So to make you click uh, on the affiliated links to make money off you. For this reason, this review is going to be uh, totally different than any other reviews you have seen or read online. And uh, I'm going to give you uh, my practical opinions on what I liked or disliked about uh, this phone, which is right here. So I'm not going to go into that much about, uh, uh, I'm not going to go or, uh, you know, go over uh, on too much about specs. Uh, but I do have a small, uh, in a card where I'll just you know go over very briefly so the specs are 6.3 inches uh, screen and uh, 1020 2520 pixels and the aspect ratio is 21 uh, is to 9 and I IPS LCD screen and this has Android uh, 9.0 Pi uh, Android 1 operating system and uh, the memory is 128 gigabyte with the uh, 4 gig RAM uh, then we have a 12 megapixel photo camera and 16 megapixel sensor video camera. Then there's a 170 deg 117 degree lens and a 4K video and 3500 mAh battery. So I'll just set this aside. So I have spent about uh, 72 hours with this camera and I'll uh, tell you like you know what I liked and disliked. The reason I bought this camera, my uh, previous camera broke uh, when it you know fell out of my uh, pocket so as you can see that you know the screen is not good anymore although the camera you know the phone works uh, this was Sony Xperia X2 Ultra and I do have a review of this camera as well uh, so this one uh, you can see uh, let me just take a look here so if you look at here very carefully you'll see that you know the screen is all messed up and shattered but the phone still works perfectly but uh, you know this is not good to use anymore and uh, the screen is too expensive to change at least in Canada so for that reason I was looking for this phone now this phone actually is bigger than this phone but uh, it doesn't look that way and I'll go over that as well so let's uh, look at the box first so with the phone you're gonna get uh, a case uh, which I have never seen before uh, any company giving a case with the phone and then you're going to get a USB-C cable uh, and then you're going to get USB-C adapter and the box so basically that's all you're going to get with this phone uh, nothing else and I'll just you know set this aside here now the phone looks pretty good uh, it doesn't look or feel cheap anyway so there are three uh, cameras on the back and there's one front camera so let's uh, start with the feature of this phone and I have a listing of uh, the negatives and positives about the phone so I'll just go over with the you know negatives first and then I'll go over uh, with the positives so the first uh, negative thing of this phone I would say the photographic camera which is only uh, 12 uh, megapixel camera uh, these days you know you're gonna have phone with uh, like 20 25 or more megapixels so this is a very uh, low megapixel camera but I I will attach uh, some uh, pictures and video shots I, I have taken uh, you'll see that you know it really doesn't uh, it's not that bad now the other negative thing you're gonna notice is that there's a hole here uh, which is the camera hole so when you play a video so I'm going to just you know play a quick video from my YouTube channel and I'll show you uh, what I mean so when you play video it kind of feels weird that some something is looking at you uh, maybe it's not a big deal but uh, you know it can be an issue for uh, some of you that you know this one has that hole uh, which is on the screen okay so I'm playing a video and if you look here there's like you know a hole right here so this hole can bother some of you but it may not bother you but you know they try to place like you know basil here to cover the hole but it's still like you know if you're watching the video sometimes it can feel 
kind of like an you know, obtrusive or you may not like the way it looks but for me it's not a big deal so I'll just uh, close this video okay the next thing I didn't like about this phone or you may not like about the phone is the display and the aspect ratio so this is a 6.3 inch phone but the aspect ratio is to 1 21 is to 9 for that fact it doesn't actually feel a 6.3 inch uh, phone when you put it in your pocket or when you're holding it because there's the reduced uh, you know width on this side so for example if you look at this phone it feels really like you know gigantic and big but if you look at this it doesn't feel big so if you just put it on top of this phone you can see that you're losing some screen space right here very close to one inch but because of you know without this screen space it looks a slim phone and it doesn't even look that big so this has both advantages and disadvantages uh, because I'm talking about the disadvantages and then uh, the you're, you may not like you know uh, like losing that screen space and when if you're not used to it uh, you may not you may think it may like you know look or feel weird uh, having a phone of this aspect ratio or this size but on my first day uh, I didn't actually like it but starting my second day and now I kind of started to liking it so it's not a big deal for me anymore but for some of you you know it could be a big deal so that's another negative of this of this phone now uh, the color reproduction of this phone when you're watching video or you know looking at pictures I find it that uh, you may not get vibrant color or like you know super color like other phones it's still okay but if you are like you know too color sensitive or if you're looking for like you know super color or vibrant color or real natural color then this phone might disappoint you so what I did, uh, I'm using the settings. Actually, I uh, boosted up the color production. Uh, there are three options. One is natural, another I can remember, and another is like you know the highest color, which they call boosted, and that's what I have. But I still, I notice that when I compare my Instagram pictures from this phone and the other phone, then this color is not really that vibrant. But you know, it doesn't bother me. This is still okay. So that's another negative thing and uh, the next negative thing I'm going to be talking about is the speaker so this phone actually has only one speaker which is right here so if you're looking for a stereo this is not your phone but you know this actually uh, is okay for me because uh, I wouldn't mind having one speaker on this phone and another negative or the next negative thing I have on my list is screen so this screen is not Gorilla Glass, so I'm not sure, you know, in terms of lasting, how well it's going to hold up. But I'm going to uh, put a screen uh, protector on this. Uh, usually I don't use that, uh, you know, screen protector for my phone. Uh, I didn't use it for this phone, and maybe that's why it broke. But this time I'm going to be using a screen protector, and another reason would be that this is not a Gorilla, gorilla Glass but in terms of holding or using the phone you're not going to feel even that you know this is not a gorilla glass uh, it just feels and uh, looks okay and uh, the next thing i have on my uh, negative items is that no alert notification so what it means that there's no led alert notification anywhere so the way it works it notifies you via the screen so let's say uh, there's a, an email or text so when you like you know open it then it's going to show up right here or when you touch the phone or move the phone the notification shows up right here so for you there's no way to know there is something because there's no blinking light but you can uh, you know hear the noise of uh, uh, notifications uh, and uh, I don't really mind having not having LED light or anything so it doesn't bother me that much so these are the main uh, basic uh, negatives I can find with this phone now let's move over to the positives okay so the first positive which is the biggest uh, positive uh, for me or for anyone is the price uh, you're not gonna find a phone this cheap with this many features so my cost because I you know bought it from my provider my cost of this phone is going to be below 200 but if you're buying on Amazon or outside then you're going to be looking at 
somewhere between I would say 300 to 350 Canadian so that's almost incredible uh, or impossible price to get a phone with this many features and everything and when you look at the phone it no way feels cheap or anything it just looks like an expensive phone although everything on the, uh, you know the black back is plastic and uh, it's not metal or anything but it doesn't feel that cheap it looks like an expensive phone so the price would be the most uh, you know positive for this phone anyway you look at it and the next positive thing I have is uh, looks good not cheap which I already mentioned that you know whenever you're holding this or show the phone to anyone uh, there's no way you can know that this is a cheap phone now the next positive thing I have here is the action camera so this phone actually is the first uh, phone with an action camera built in so what it means that uh, I'll show you uh, this three you know cameras it uses to capture action camera and it has even a stabilization I'm going to attach some you know clip uh, in this video at the end uh, which you'll see that you know uh, when you uh, use this phone then you can uh, like you know you can have very nice and clean video footage without any shakiness or anything and then another thing this camera has that when you open the camera and then you know when you do the video in order to do uh, horizontal video you don't have to hold the phone horizontally you can just phone uh, vertically this way and still is going to give you a uh, horizontal video clip or like you know a landscape video clip which is a very good thing because you know with other phone if you want landscape video then you have to hold it like this and it's sometimes not that convenient so you can just like you know hold it in a portrait mode uh, for wide angle video which is less, just like this so that's a very good feature and then video quality is really good uh, it's not going to replace the GoPro uh, or your action camera but this is good enough to you know do some video shootings or clips uh, when you need it or when you don't have your phone uh, if you look at my clips attached to this video you will see that you know it does it does a good job with those okay so now uh, the next next thing on my uh, list uh, or on my positive list is the display and as aspect ratio which I mentioned in the negatives so basically being uh, a longer phone with a reduced like in you know, a width on this side it has uh, advantage that it doesn't feel any way that this is a big camera uh, a big camera it doesn't feel that you're holding a 6.3 inch camera it looks like I, I, I have a feeling that you know I'm dealing with a 5.5 inch camera but it, although it's a 6.3 inch camera I'm sorry 6.3 inch phone so that's the advantage of uh, you know having the weird uh, aspect ratio it no way feels that you're holding or you know dealing with a monster a 6.3 inch uh, phone uh, it gives you the feeling of a 5.5 inch phone and uh, slips in a uh, pocket very uh, easily and you can just put it in your bag or anywhere it doesn't feel that you know you're holding a gigantic phone uh, which is in contrast to my other six inch phone uh, whenever I'm holding it or I'm dealing with it it really feels that you know I'm holding something big but with this one it doesn't feel that you know I'm dealing or holding something big so that's a very that's a plus point and then the next one I have is the NFC uh, even phone this cheap has NFC uh, it's kind of hard to believe and then 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, which is right here uh, these days phones are getting rid of headphone jack I don't like that I like my phone to have a you know 3.5 millimeter headphone hole uh, because I wouldn't you know stick a Bluetooth uh, headphone set or headset to my ear all the time uh, so I would rather prefer a 3.5 millimeter headphone uh, hole which this phone has and the battery life so the phone has 3500 mAh battery which has very uh, good battery life and although they say this is not a fast charging phone but it charges fairly fast uh, or well you don't have to actually wait that much to you know quick charge it it's, uh, works just fine then the next thing I have is good performance uh, the phone performs really well it's not slow it's fast uh, and uh, because of the you know uh, RAM uh, which is 4 gig and the Android, Android version uh, or Android 9.1 uh, I'm sorry 9.0 Pi Android one it, it you know works just fine and very fast uh, there's no complaint about that now the phone comes with Android one uh, Android Pi 9.0 
and the main benefit of that is that uh, you know there's no bloatware so basically you're just getting a pure Android experience and it's, it's really smooth and it's really uh, pretty cool and then uh, there's the another positive thing I have here is Moto experiences which is some sort of uh, Motorola's own uh, customized like you know features the phone has for example if you want to turn on the camera you have to just kind of flip the camera and then it turns on for example if you do like this and you see the camera is on if you do again like this then you see that it switch to the uh, picture and if you do again then it will switch to the camera which you can see right here and another feature I'm going to show you uh, for uh, motor experience is that if you want to turn on the flashlight then you have to just uh, do it like you're chopping something for example if you see here there's no flashlight but if you do like this you see that the flashlight is on now if you want to turn it off you can do that again just you know do the same thing again then it will turn off so right here sometimes it doesn't work but most times it works and now let me just quickly show you some of the like you know when you open the phone how you uh, what you get so let's say the phone is lying flat and when you just touch it then you're gonna see the like a button here or you're gonna see the uh, time and if there's a notification then you have to just slide it up and then you're gonna get your lock screen and once you unlock your phone then this is what you're gonna get so this is a very simple Android one uh, home page setting and then they have something called one pay or one hand uh, like you know maintenance or one hand uh, control of the phone so you can just like you know remove this so for example you're opening a web page and then if you want to go back so you can just like you know do this and then it will go back and if you want to go to the next next screen you can just like you know do it by sliding this so this this can like you know work as a slider but you just need one finger to control everything and then in terms of like you know if you want to look all, at all the apps so you have to just push it up and then here you're going to see all the apps and then this is the main two home pages of this phone uh, and they didn't include any bloatware or any garbage applications uh, with this phone which is a very uh, good thing so that's something I like and if you want to look for the Motorola features which are only uh, you know which you're not going to find anywhere look for Moto and if you click on it then you're going to see that you know it's going to uh, tell you what special feature the phone has because it an attentive display so basically this one is like you know when you're looking at it the phone is not going to turn it turn the screen off and then here there's the lift to unlock which I just showed you so it lies flat and if you just you know uh, open it up then you can unlock it but you have to just go through the setting and then quick capture and then here's like you know moto display so basically they have uh, these features uh, like you know turning the flashlight or camera by just uh, moving the phone uh, they have these included with this Motorola uh, applications uh, which uh, can be uh, a good thing and I'm actually using it So overall, I'm totally happy with the purchase. Uh, I didn't expect uh, a phone which is so cheap to give uh, that many features, all, although there are some like limitations or some of the negatives, which I just mentioned here. But except that, uh, the negatives uh, I mentioned, uh, it doesn't bother me. So, you know, I'm okay with those uh, because I have to also like look at what I'm paying for this phone. So. I'm really happy and uh, you know I'll be using this phone uh, for a while and uh, so that's my take on this Motorola action or Motorola one action camera so that's all for today thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video uh, there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you